Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for day four of the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge series. Thank you to anyone who's been watching so far. I'm gonna hop straight in. Okay. Initial thoughts. Indonesia, I think. Yeah. This feels like Indonesia to me. No. <laughs> Damn it. Well, okay. At least I know now it's Philippines. My episode 2 title of today on Indonesia or Philippines is now better than ever. Of course, they're driving on the right. I should know this by now. They're driving on the right. That means it is the Philippines. On the, on, in Indonesia, they drive on the left. Now I've got the hard task of trying to find out where the hell in the Philippines I am. That is the name of a city, Cavite City, okay. Will I be able to find that? God knows. Because there's a lot of tiny ass cities in this country. Cavite. I'm hoping it's big enough that I can see it at this level of zoom. I don't want to have to zoom in further and go across the whole country again. Cavite. Hmm, not gonna lie, not seeing it. This might just be a have one where I have to scroll across the map for like the next minute. But that's fine. Oh, I'll find it eventually, please. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. Let's check here. Nope. Okay. I'm going to start again from the bottom, zoom in more, and hope I get lucky. But I'm not liking my chances, to be honest with you. I know in Philippines, they like to name things cities even when they're tiny. Every town is a city. Yeah. God, I hope it hasn't been on my screen and I've missed it at some point. That would be annoying. I don't think I'm going to find it, which kind of sucks. You're close enough. Get ease. Get eat. Yeah. Please. Please. Okay, well, kind of sucks a little bit. I'm going to put us in the middle of the Philippines and hope for the best. Ah, it was on the outskirts of Manila. Oh, God, that's hard to find. Okay, it's a, it's an island. Clearly, I didn't go far enough down the streets to find that out. That's annoying. Probably should have looked closer to Manila. Oh, well, not the best start, but hey, at least I got the country right. Lost just over a thousand, could be worse. So the last two days, I've gotten... Oh god, I don't know what that is. Um, I've gotten, I think, over 23,000, I want to say. And I would love to keep that up. But that's going to be a lot harder now. Considering I've already lost over a thousand. What did you say? Okay, this I think is Estonia. I think. But I'm not certain. It could be Finland again. Ugh. No, this is Estonia. This is the right like road signs. Where do I find the 102 then? Are they laid out in any sort of order? It doesn't appear so. 102 going to Kilkana, Lumanda, and Tehumadi. Um, 103. God, that's close. Is the 102 close by? Probably not. Again, they don't seem to be in any order. 107, 108. Alright. I have 1 minute 40 seconds to find the, the road labelled 102. In Estonia. If this isn't thrilling content, then I don't know what is. 
I saw the 101 up there. <laughs> I've now seen the 101, the 103, and the 104. Please kill me. Please. Give me the road. Uh, 108, again. 201, that's just the inverse. How have I not found it yet? Please. Just give me, give me the road. Now these are all like 300s, this doesn't seem right at all. God damn it. I'm going to be so annoyed if I don't find this. 109, 110, I found almost every, like, 10 something. Apart from the 102. Like, this is how I go insane. This is what's going to do it. 103, again. How um, have I seen the 103 again? Okay, I haven't looked in, like, right in the middle, right? Is it just in the middle? I have 30 seconds, oh my god. Just, like, give me the give me the road. How? How have I not found it? Is it? Okay, think about this logically. If I haven't found it yet, maybe it's on this island. Yes, oh, I'm a genius sometimes. Only sometimes. Um, so, like, here? Tefimadi is, like... I don't, wait, where's Tefimadi? Over here. So, like, over here somewhere. Ah. Eight. This isn't going to be exact, but, like... Fuck it. <laughs> oh, God, that that hurt me. On, like, a physical level. I feel, I feel exhausted just from doing that, that round. But I'm glad I had the thought of, hey, Estonia has these couple of islands over here. Maybe it's over there. Because I, I very nearly went insane. I think I might have actually gone insane. But hey, we got it. We move. We move on to just three. Hope. Okay, I was going to say, and hope to restore some sanity. This ain't it, Chief. Alright, so it's Spanish speaking. Not, not sure what kind of vibes I'm getting. Why is the entire world slightly slanted? <laughs> on this, like, this angle. Getting, like, a uh, seasickness going on. Alright, that sign has nothing. That sign also has nothing. Alright, my vibes here. Honestly, like, maybe, maybe this. It's very flat. Well, not, like, super flat, but, like, quite flat. Very open. But it's, this is probably Argentina or Uruguay. Unless it, it could be Mexico, I suppose. But I don't think it is. This doesn't feel like Mexico to me. And if it's in South America, then it pretty much has to be Argentina or Uruguay. Because those are the only places that look like this. Let's look at the sun. Sun is to the south? Kind of? Maybe we are in Mexico then. Oh god, I don't like that. I don't think we are. I'm going to choose to ignore the sun. I'm going to pretend the sun is not there. Because this really doesn't feel like Mexico to me. Oh god, maybe it's Mexico. Oh no. Now I'm worried. I just, I, God, I hope I see something on this road. I don't want to have to make a decision with the information I've currently got. I'm starting to see, like, cacti and shit. Fuck, I think it's Mexico. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should listen to the sun. Maybe the sun is helping me, and I should not ignore it. No tire basura. What the fuck does that mean? Just please have, like, a road sign with, like... A decently large city on it. Or like, you know, a road number. You, what do you say? Please be helpful. Please. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm not in panic mode quite yet. But I am getting there. Pretty quickly. Now I'm in another tiny town with like, nothing in it. Oh god, okay. Keep going forwards. With the information I've got now, I'm probably going to guess Mexico, and that scares me. Because I really don't know if it's Mexico. There's just nothing that helps me here. Your Sanchez Presidente. I don't know who you are. Okay. This is very bad. Okay. Ooh, and breathe. <laughs> Even got, like, not too far away in Mexico as well. Only dropped a thousand points, pretty much. 
That's uh, again pretty close to the two Mexican guesses we had a few days ago on the on the fifty four here. We weren't too far away. But yeah, I'm super happy with that. It does mean I can't get my twenty three thousand now, but like that's fine by me. I said yesterday that anything over twenty two thousand by class is a good game. So yeah, hopefully I can still manage to get that. Just got to ace these last two guesses. So I think this language is Polish. I think. Okay, we've got like a major, well, not a major road, a bigger road here. This says UL, which means we're in Poland, because that like means road or something over there, I think. Or like street. Something along those lines. So yeah, definitely Poland. But no idea where. Poland is nice in Geodesa, because it's very round. You can just guess in the middle and you won't be too far away. Um, which way should I go here? Let's go this way. Poland are also pretty decent with their road signs, if I remember correctly. Wait, was there one there? Did I just see one? No, I didn't. Is that one up there? Yes, perfect. You are what I need. Okay. I don't know any of those places, but hopefully I can find the road. I don't know. Is there a decent road layout in Poland? Do the, do the numbers make sense? I don't think they do. Not particularly, no. Okay, so 63 and the 647. 647 is tiny, so I won't be able to find that without zooming in more. So I just need to hope I can locate the 63 in the next minute. 36, again, that's the inverse, but not what we're looking for. The S3. I'm doing like, uh, I'm doing the outskirts of it and then I'll have a look through the middle if I don't find it before then. 63, here we are. So we've got Piz, good name. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call it Piss. We've got Piss to the north, which is here. We've got Lomza to the south, which is here. Uh, we've got also Miz. We've got this one to the south. No, north. Along the six forty-seven. I think we're here. I don't see this this place. To be honest, is it smaller? I don't know. There it is. We have got to be here, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, this makes sense. I think. <laughs> Which way did we come from? We came from this way. Did we come... Uh... Like here? I don't know, there? Screw it. Send it. <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to open that. But yeah, pretty good. Not too shabby. Alright, so we can still get... A pretty good score here. A score of 5,000 or close to here gets us like 22.7, which I'm extremely happy with. That is the flag of Slovenia. My flag knowledge has come in handy once again. Because Slovenia can be a difficult one to figure out in this game, unless you, unless you see like an obvious sign, like a domain name or a flag. Because the language is not... It's, it's hard to uh, differentiate between Slovenian and, say... Slovakian, Czech, Croatian, unless, you know, unless you have a good knowledge of the languages, which I don't really. I can normally tell them, like, apart, but it's not easily. So now we've just got to keep going down this road and hope that we see some sort of road sign. If we don't, you know, just knowing you're in Slovenia is not bad. It's a pretty small country. Which means we're probably going to be on for a score of like 22,000 plus, which is uh, good. Makes me happy. Dot in. Don't know what that is. But not going to listen to it. Okay, this road, the road, the road has kind of become more... Wait, was that a road marker or something? Shit, where was it here? 642, that is a road. 
Um, finding it seems difficult though. Six four five, six four seven, six four six. Okay, six four nine. Uh, six four two. Wow, that was easy. So it starts in Ljubljana and ends here. Wait, no, it doesn't even get this far. I think. Where does it go? Does it just end here? Is that is this the entire road? This? No, it goes over here. But then where? Does it stop here? This seems to be the actual... Nope. This seems to be the end of it? Yes. I think it ends here. So it was somewhere... I'll put us here for now. Somewhere in this little area here. Just over 30 seconds left. Feeling pretty confident. How have I ended up here? Which way did I just come from? I'm not even sure. <laughs> I'm not sure which way I was going. I just got completely turned around by that. Uh, Vunica. You're over here. So are we like here, maybe? Vunica is just to the north. Yeah, I think we're like here. Which way did we go at the start? We went north, right? So I think we came... Yeah, I think we might just be in Verd. Screw it. Send it. Okay. You know what? Close enough. Yeah, this makes more sense, actually. We went along this road. Yeah. Alright. You, summary. 22.7. Yep. Happy with that. I have no complaints whatsoever. So, Raven has not done the challenge yet today. But I'll at least compare mine and Pink's scores and go through them. So, round one was the Meps? No. Where was round one? Philippines. So, we both got the Philippines. Pink was a bit closer than me. I was 245 miles away. He was 133. Don't know if he knew anything more than me or just made a better guess than I did. Number two. Which one was number two? You? Yes, number two is the one that nearly killed me. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Like, even though it was a ball ache to find, like, I'm super happy that I found it in the end because I... Had that one good idea of, ah, there's more. It's not just the mainland in Estonia. There's these little bits. So yeah, did well there. Pink put us in Sweden. Not a terrible guess. He was off by 340 miles. Then guess three, I think it was Mexico. Yeah. So we both figured out it was Mexico. I I was really not sure about that. But like, if, I, I, honestly, if not for the sun, I think I might have gone Argentina. Like, I was, I was so torn between them, but the sun telling me that we were in the Northern Hemisphere, like, saved me. I'm glad I listened to the sun. And also, the other thing was the cactus. You don't really get cactus or cacti in Argentina, as far as I know. So, that was another... Well, I think you probably do, but not as much as in Mexico, anyway. So, yeah, that, that also helped. Guess four was the one in... Uh... Yes, Poland. So, got that one banged on. Another one I'm very happy with. I, there was a lot of ones today where you had to use roads, like, excessively. Like, Estonia, I've, you know, was given the tools to find the location, just had to find the road. Same with Poland, same with Slovenia. Good old Europe and their roads. So, yeah, Pink had us in Czechia, in Prague. You know, like I said, well, I was talking about Check you for this one for the language, but again, Poland is another one where it can sometimes be difficult to work out the language if you don't know it. But yeah, Czechia is not a terrible guess. And then for the last one, Pink also got Slovenia. Interesting, because I thought this was quite a difficult one to work out the country for. So maybe Pink just saw like a domain name or something, or maybe I'm selling Pink short and he's just good. But yeah, well done for that one. So yeah. I got a score of 22.7, Pink got 19.4, which I think is his best score on the daily challenge, which is which is very nice. Can't wait to see Ravens too. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.